Some of them have their own lawyers, which we don't know. And some of them being in jail for over four years have accepted the plea bargain. You know. So this, at least for your own uh, record, you can have those names of those who have been in prison for the past uh, three years, nearly four years now. Okay, and Nigeria is practicing democracy. There were so many of them that the police now had to put them, let me put them on a uh, trumped up uh, charges, armed robbery, arson, assaulting police officer, uh, you know, public disturbance, and so many others. But the intention is just to keep them there. Ah, man. Anyway. The guy wanted to tell us all the 29 names out of the 31 that he asked. So let's listen to that. Yeah, some are out already, but the ones that we are working on, that we know that they are still in jail, Darry Williams is still in jail, okay. Daniel Joibu is still in jail, Adigun Sodik is still in jail, Ismail Olaogun is still in jail, Rashid Bolaji is still in jail, Moshu Biola is still in jail, Ismail is in Kirikiri Maximum Prison. As we he, speak now. Yes, this young boy was 20 years when he was picked in his home in Ikorodu by thugs and the police. 20 years. And they pick a knife which he used in selling uh, fish as part of the evidence. He's still in prison to date. And these are the ones you're you, working on. Yes, these are the ones we are working on. But that list is 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 clear and it's evidence because we don't want when a movement are doing this alone. Yeah, it is a strain on movement. Are, you, are you sure that there are some other people that you might not have captured in your list that are mimes? Oh, yeah, that is it. That is it. Are you because, sure of that? Yes, there are people that because will be these there. ones are only in prisons in Lagos, other prisons, other part, other, other parts, parts of, of the country. country. So are you the, sure of them? Yeah, there are people stay because when we go to court, we meet these people. That we are not the one handling their case. And they tell us they were picked due to answers. Okay. Now, there are issues here about enforcement of fundamental human rights. Yes. So the lawyers will go and argue that in court to secure their release. In some of those cases, do the lawyers insist on damages being awarded? Yes. Because so the Nigerian state cannot just pick somebody up, frame up charges, and keep them in prison for four years or indefinitely. Second, what effect does this have on the movement? Obviously, the purpose of repression is to discourage people who want to take back Nigeria. So what has been the experience? Do you see com almost complete, near complete loss of enthusiasm hmm. on people who ordinarily allow themselves to be mobilized? It has been. Many parents will say, "Don't go and join them." Yes. All yeah. right, so they, they will lock you up. Yeah. You know. Oh, you get what, what has been the effect on the movement? Yes, definitely. There's not going to be any they say that it's in a way affected the the morals of young people. You know, people were shot at. Those are victims also, and also people have been in jail twenty years, twenty one years. So that Williams has done. He's born December four bad days in prison. <laughs> he has been marshal, marshal all the time. You know, so definitely has reduced the morale. And also when the movement have to be going after, bringing people out of prison, where there are other issues. The police brutality issue has not stopped. That's not handed. But people you cannot leave them behind. You have to bring them out of jail. And you spoke something about fundamental human rights, which is very painful because you arrested people, discriminated illegally, accused them of crimes that ever committed, you couldn't prove it. And finally the courts granted them guilty and uh, acquitted and discharged. But the case is that most of these victims don't have the funds to file for, for cases of fundamental human rights. Sheya Obola never filed for anything. Nicolas Umba never filed for anything. Sadiq, he made it Sadiq when he came out of jail. He was on a sick bed. He never filed for anything. And you know, lawyers have done many of these cases pro bono. You know, for them to now take off fundamental human rights case pro bono again is a bit difficult. But let's assume the government is responsible. <laughs> That's the sad tale. Other factors that some of you should uh, always uh, remember why the morale of uh, the people who are subjected to this to this systemic torture. Why they number one, they have reduced their purchasing power. They've made them very poor and scared. Okay. Then those who had courage and stood up, 
they killed them or locked them up. And then the judiciary helped keep them there. So all of these are other factors you sort of have to remember why it seems impossible for these four people to kind of stand up and push back. But somebody said an angry man is an angry man. I think that should supers, you know, supersede other factors. I'm going to die of hunger. And I'm going to do something. I will do something. It's just that uh, mostly in Nigeria, even if you have to do something because you don't want to die of hunger, it's never going to be to go after the people that actually make you so poor to be hungry. It's going to be something stupid, fortunately. You know, that's why they said those of you who still have the ability or the capacity to, to fund your lifestyles in Nigeria right now, you are the people who have, who have a lot to lose because the target is to make so many of you become these same desperate people that they have, you know, they have created, fortunately. And uh, that's going to take us uh, to River States. So many dramas. Okay. And I will brief you some. So initially, you know the story of Wiriwike and Fubara. Right? It has taken a different turn because the Wiriwike and his men, they've actually recorded so many losses. And right now in River State, it seems to be the mood of a lot. My land, oh my land, my land, oh my land. When shall I see my land? Where no, when shall I see my beautiful land? Where we can collect by force. So the 27 uh, lawmakers, including their speaker, uh, who have been very loyal. And they were given the assignment to uh, work together and ensure the removal of Fubara. These were guys who were all together, by the way, initially. But I don't have to take you through the story, right? Just, this is just an update. So the update now is that they went to court, right? To exercise their fundamental human rights and other rights by saying, uh, yes, we were supposed to have crisis in the PDP and use that to become to APC, but there is none. But still, like we are in APC already. Then they went to court. Unfortunately, when they went to court, their own court, eh, they now presented themselves as PDP. These are the guys who have become to APC. And Tefnumu was supposed to give them protection. But unfortunately, something is wrong. That protection is not coming. Or maybe they have a surprise for us, okay? Because you know something? When these guys went to go and they uh, appeal, the court order that said they've lost their seats, they didn't present themselves as APC members. They presented themselves as PDP. They said, no, we have not decamped. We are still in PDP. But unfortunately, the appeal said, no, they've left. And they've lost their seats. They are waiting for Supreme Court. I don't know if it's going to get to that too. Then the local government chairman, too. You see, in Nigeria, right? Uh, when they do a general election, for example, elections where, general elections, where they have the governorship, they have the, um, they have the presidential, the senatorial, you know, all those, right? And they have them almost same day or within two weeks. The result that always comes out will show you how each party sort of rob themselves in each state. So if you have a state, for example, you have a state that is a 20 states, when they release election of a general results, 
that party A, that is uh, the leading party, may actually win, let's say, 10 local government areas. But do so well in uh, the remaining 10. Then their own rival next to them may win, let's say, seven local government areas. Like you shall see every of them do their own little, depends on how much money they were able to push and all that, okay? Then the new, the winning party A, the winner, they will now swear the party A in. It will now be the turn of the local government elections. Surprisingly, party A will just have a landslide. Landslide, win all the elections, all the local government areas, because it will be able to actually fix that. And by fixing, that means fixing his own men in all of the local government areas to help him maintain a political structure that can win election for him next time. So their loyalty is to him. So the whole process is rigged. Even when they conduct election, pretentious elections. Then in the, I mean, in between elections and you know, no elections, right? They always have, so in between elections and the end of the terms, which is mostly three years for local government areas, okay? So the administrators will spend three years. And they will bring in uh, a caretaker committee. There is no law that back caretaker, okay? So it's just like an administrative head, which means you appoint the head of uh, the department or head of head of the local government, OGA. They will take over the administration of the local government until the next election. That's what the law should be. But politicians will now appoint other set of guys. Sometimes they will retain some of the chairmen as caretaker until they sort out the list of who has been loyal, who hasn't been loyal. So they will remove those who haven't been loyal or those ones who have been loyal and they are upgrading them to another, maybe House of Assembly or reps. So they will have another person in then they will now go and conduct elections. They are charade, as usual, that all of the candidates of the governor will win. So when we get did it, and when this Wahala started, some of them, they were expecting that, what did Fubara want to do? Oh, Benny, you are just like us. You can't, you know, once Oga says, we should go and do election, local government election now, We'll write the names and all of that. So as part of uh, the insubordination, usurping the power of Fubara when the Awahala started, you see this uh, 27 House of Assembly members and their speaker, 26 House of Assembly members and their speaker, right? They have been changing the laws, their bylaws in River State, in their own uh, stupid mind, right? They were changing laws by using what they call uh, the power to veto the governor. They don't need the governor to sign the bills into law. They could veto him. Since they have the majority, so they started removing Ubara from the official constitutional function of ease as governor. They started replacing them with themselves, like, no, he doesn't have to do it. Another person can do it. So the local government chairman, like the lawmakers, they are not loyal to Fubara, not all of them. And they have openly, openly, right? Sort of, uh, you know, openly criticized and then uh, abused him, kind of like. I don't know the word to use, Sha. Sha, get what I mean? In a condescending way. And they told him that the Ateno will, will end. And that Ateno ended today. And then they told him, he said, all of you that are abusing me, all of you that are disrespecting me, your time will come and then you will go. And they told him that even when their tenure ends, it's not the right person to tell them to leave. It will be wicked. So that sort of has triggered, that has triggered a lot of reactions in river states. Asari Toru, local government areas, I mean area in river states. And few others too. People have decided to go and take over the local government areas from these seven UK's men. 
and the Genesis. See, also, there were other things within the assembly, among others. So, let this guy explain. Listen to this. The particular issue that led to the institution of this suit was when it was brought to the attention of the NGO, the fact that the River State House of Assembly had passed a law, an amendment um, known as the River State um, House of Assembly Service Amendment Law, number, number three of 2024, which purported to give the Speaker of the House of Assembly the power to appoint the chairman and members of the River State House of Assembly Commission. Now, what he did was it amended the previous law, which provided that the governor had the power to appoint the chairman and members of the River State House of Assembly Commission. What needs to be understood is that this power of the governor was not just appropriated by the governor to himself. It was provided for in the Constitution, as you will see in the judgments, Section 5, Section 176, Section 197, and Section 198, that the chief executive or the governor, the chief executive officer of the state, has the power to appoint the chairman and members of state bodies. What the amendment sought to do was to take away that power of the governor and give it to the legislature. In the, in, in the Constitution, there's a clear separation of powers. The legislature, you make the laws. The executive, you enforce these laws. So there was no, our contention before the court was that there was no way the legislature could have taken away the, cap, the governor's power to appoint and give it to the speaker. And rightly, the court, the court has held that that section three of the River State House of Assembly Service Commission Amendment Law, which sought to take away the appointing power of the governor and give it to the speaker, is unconstitutional and as such it has been struck out. It's null and void to the extent of its inconsistency. Well, uh, it's, it's a victory for the rule of law. It's a victory for good governance. So on our part, my team and... It's a victory, it's the law, whatever. So that's practically what they were doing. To say if Pubara is not going to obey Wiki, well, they, as lawmakers, they could take over his, out of his power and make things happen. By even telling the, you know, the guy even told the, the lawmakers that, I mean, sorry, the local government chairman that, they should stay put in office. This uh, river status of assembly, led by this guy, they have extended their, their tenure. Yeah, that's part of the whole wahala to start with. Listen to this. Let me very sincerely, on behalf of members, thank the Court of Appeal for what they are doing for this country, especially for their efforts in ensuring that the rule of law remains the order in this country. We thank them for what they are doing for this country, and it's our hope that they will continue to serve this country in their capacity as judges so that our democracy can remain for the good of all. A lot of people have been worried, particularly with regards to the fact that the tenure of local government chairmen, vice chairmen, and councillors would elapse in a few days. And um, it's been impossible for RISEC to conduct uh, elections to fill the vacancies. A lot of people have been calling on us to find out what the position is. But let's make it very clear here that the 10th Assembly of River State has not received any requests from the governor to screen uh, members of caretaker committee to fill vacancies in the local governments. We haven't received any such communication and we believe that's in line with Section 7 of the 1999 Constitution as authored, which has guaranteed a system of local governments by democratically elected local government officials, that the governor will not send any list to us. We're not expecting any lists because caretaker committees are indeed an aberration. They are not allowed by the Constitution or by any... So that's the former uh, speaker, the guy that is uh, uh, loyal to uh, the Wiki. They are still parading themselves as members of uh, national... I mean, sorry, members of uh, River Status of Assembly. 
So the appeal court is referring to the was when this local government chairman went to court and said the court should stop Ubara from removing them. And the appeal court was like, what do you mean? Your tenure, three years tenure will end so, so time. You have to go. So if there's going to be any caretaker or any administrator to be appointed to the local government areas, that's going to be the job of uh, the governor and the state house of assembly to work that out. But you can come to court and say, you are elected to be there for three years. Your, your time is going to end in about two months. And then you come to court and say, this guy, court should stop him from removing you as a local government chairman. You're right. Or it's because it is with a wiki. They could have gotten a judgment. I don't know what happened. Something happened. With the wiki missed something there. He promised them. He promised these guys too. I think they are going to Supreme Court. And you know Supreme Court now. Supreme Court can just say, well, they should go back. And they are members of the... So, but for now, Kubara is treating them just like some noisemakers out there believe. So today, across the river state, it was actually the women first. You heard them singing earlier. See them in front of one of the local governments. I'm sorry, Toru, I think it's called local government area. Okay. No, no, yeah, 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 I'll be like, yes, yeah, so that's why. Why, why we are here today is because of the information we had. We are Saga women from various communities and various companies that are here. We are here because this chairman, their tenor has elapsed and they refuse to do what? To go! go. Yes. Is that the one we are here? Yes! Yeah. 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 I must go, I must go. go. We voted them. Yeah. They are tenor at the last. So we said they should do what? Go! Go! Let another. Not they, 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 go. Go. they should go. Eh? We want peace. We don't want any of them. They should go. 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 We want peace in Asaga. We are not here for violence. We want peace. Yes. So that is why we have come from our various communities to tell them that they are tender as well. So they should go. Let another come. come, come, come. Chairman, away! And then they sang. Oh my land, oh my land, oh my land, oh my land, when shall I see my land? When shall I see my beautiful land where we can collect by force? Yeah, in front of the Asari Toru this afternoon. It's similar to people were just like, Chairman, away. Counselors, away. <laughs> What did you see in that video? The first one you saw women. The second one you see uh young uh, you know young men. Young men who were supposed to be at work. 
this whole thing should be what you should be seeing in front of that uh, secretariat, local government secretariat, should be the police trucks or police vans to effect uh, to implement what the law says. Not young people. That's that is just to tell you what you need to know. How many young, 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 young people are currently recruited into the army? of different political camps. And they are there eh, to defend their camp. Because from that, they probably will have, uh, or from that depends, their survivor. So the guy himself was in church yesterday. Seamless uh, Fubara. Yeah. And then there is a pastor there who was like, you know,